Okay, hello and welcome to a pretty garbage tutorial on how to get your um, digital sketches into uh, Canvas in real life without doing weird uh, square methods or whatever. Um, using projection mapping. Uh, yeah, let's, let's get into it. Basically, what you're gonna need is a projector. I straight up got this from the trash at my school. Uh, you're gonna need a computer. Doesn't need to be a Mac. Does just whatever has an HDMI, whatever plugs into this. And you're gonna need a touch designer. It's free, just go to derivative.ca uh, or just Google touch designer, you'll find it. Um, and it's a pretty simple setup. It's like honestly really, really easy to do. So let's start from the beginning. I have the projector connected to the MacBook via HDMI. I um, just made sure that there's like a vertical screen or whatever size your canvas is. You just wanna make sure that the projector's view is covering it. So your entire canvas needs to be covered by the projector's light. Uh, and also make sure it's in focus. That's kind of, yeah, you get the point. So now coming to touch designer, literally all you need is to go here mapping canton mapper you just need to drag that in and there you go i uh, literally just go to, you're just going to open a canton window which is going to give you a window that looks like this and then you just click oh very important since i have a vertical um display i'm going to invert this so 720 like 1280 you don't have to do this if you're working on a horizontal canvas but i'm working on the vertical one so if you just tap window options and it'll come up with this dialog window and basically what you want to do is here click toggle output and that's going to create like this black window that's like what you're going to be projecting into if you have only one screen, this is not a problem, but usually you're just gonna drag this slider till it disappeared from there. Now it's on this screen. Okay, and uh, now it should be on there. Okay, cool. This is kind of like a fiddly thing, but like there's like justifications and stuff. This is usually, it's by default on the left and bottom. I usually put it center and center because then this like square is just gonna black square that's gonna block out your canvas. It's gonna be like on the center of the screen and you don't have to fiddle with it. Um, what I want, what I like to do is in here, I'll just do the opening size or whatever the DPI scaling. I don't exactly know what this is about. I'll just set it to custom and then I'll play with these sliders. And then as you can see, this like kind of disappeared and I'll just play with these sliders until the black reaches the edge of the projected space. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna give you like, you know, enough space to work with. So this black like border is um, like your play space. You're like, what you can project into. So once you got this figured out, it's um, very, very simple. You kind of don't need this anymore. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a square. Note, I don't know, the Canton mapper is weird. So you're gonna get like a completely white screen. And if you go and move your mouse around, you'll see that there's like a cursor on the actual thing. Uh, what happens is like, if you go off of this to work on the whole canvas, it's gonna disappear. So what you wanna do is you just wanna wanna drag your mouse until it's actually on here. And then literally it's like a selecting anything like on your computer, whatever. You just drag and create a square from edge to edge, from uh, corner to corner. And then it'll create a square. And then you see these points at the end, you can drag those and adjust them all the way in. So that's like, let's move it maybe a bit lower there. So yeah, for example, you can use that. Let's do the top corner. 
and then basically what you're doing is like you're uh, putting a digital uh, projection on top of your real canvas. Just keep doing this and then you just line this as best as you can. It doesn't have to be completely perfect for this step. Uh, it's more important later when you're like projecting on top of it if you are doing that. But that's pretty much it now. The rest of the stuff is gonna happen over here. So once you have that set up and your square is lined up with your real canvas through the projector, what you wanna do is you're gonna ha wanna change the texture. And for that, we need to come back to Touch Designer, not the Canton window, and then tap tap to add an operator, and you're gonna want a top. Um, why is it called that? There's a very long explanation, but basically the thing that you want is movie file in. So just drag that in, click movie file in. Okay. So now what you want to do is you want to drag this movie file in into the texture thing there and then you click this x very important you click the x so that it turns into that so now i have successfully put a banana on the canvas which is not very useful unless we want to paint a very distorted picture of a banana um so now what we do is literally just go in here on the movie file in top and just click this plus icon and then you can browse whatever you want. Um, I'm gonna go to this this sketch that I already have of a painting that I'm working on. And I just changed the file. It's shown up on there. And boom. Now it's on the canvas and it's ready to go. Uh, the one thing is you just like click on the empty part of the Canton Mapper so that the line in the middle goes away. And then there you go. Now you can just uh, trace your sketch with perfect proportions from your digital sketch, from a photo, from whatever you want. And once that's done, you got a sketch. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much everything. It's just like, it's an insanely simple setup for something that I've seen a lot of uh, painting people struggle with. There's, People just go with a projector and try to line it up and like just like resize the picture and make sure that it's there when you can just like with a few clicks you don't have to spend three hours signing up a projector. You can just do a few clicks, throw a file in there, and you're pretty much done. Yeah. Cool.